All right, hi guys. Here we go. I'm excited to get started in this new adventure. Um, I hope most of you have been able to come by and pick up your clay Corona clay kits. Um, if you have not done that, please do so as soon as possible. Please make arrangements with me via email if you're unable to pick it up by today, Tuesday. Um, a couple things we're going to be working on this week across all the ceramics classes is we're going to think about working at home and setting up a studio space where you can create projects that I will instruct you on on a weekly basis and um, be able to execute. Maybe it's in your garage, an extra bedroom, the basement, um, but carving out a little space where you could go to work on your projects um, would be a great idea. So we're going to talk about some things that you're going to want to look around and find throughout your house to set up your studio space. Um, the first is uh, actually whether or not you're going to work on a table. Um, if you have a table in the garage, uh, wooden top tables are fantastic. Uh, we just want something that's not very uh, smooth, so we want something that's a little absorbent. So if you're unable to um, find a wooden surface to work on, um, I would suggest maybe you can find a scrap of wood around your house. Uh, the, pieces, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you I actually found around my house. Uh, it's just easier to record this video in the classroom. Um, I have a wooden a piece of wood here. This would be great. I could work with my projects. I could do my projects. I could move it around. I could put it up on a shelf so it's out of the way if I don't have an established space in my house. Um, so this would be great. Uh, no need to cover if it's smooth. Um, if it's rough, you might want to stretch some, some cloth over it. I have a t-shirt here uh, that I'll be using for a couple things. Um, I could take this and I could flip over for instance and I could tuck it underneath um, a couple staples or nails or screws um, or even maybe some duct tape we'll hold it in place uh, providing you a place to work you'll even be able to wedge your clay potentially um, we'll talk about wedging later but I highly suggest wedging in the garage on the concrete floor it's absorbent and it'll uh, remove the ex extra moisture that you have um, so this would be a great option for a work station. I found, I thought, well, you know, maybe you're limited and you can't find the wood and you don't have a space to work. Um, I found a Rubbermaid bin lid um, and I thought, you know, we could just take a t-shirt and slide it inside. We're going to have to get creative as we go through this. And in fact, I think you'll find yourself working uh, in a similar way that most potters work in a professional way where we don't necessarily have to buy all our tools. We can... Uh, scavenge around the house and make tools for what we need. Um, let's see, so if you had a, let's say you had a Rubbermaid table, like a rubber table in the, or a uh, plastic table that maybe you could unfold and set up in the garage. Um, again, stretching your uh, t-shirt across that space, the whole area doesn't need to be covered, just the area where you would be working the most um, and tape it around the edges. Um, or fix it to the table, but you don't really, it'd be preferable not to have it loose as you work as it'll bind up and get in the way as you're working. So there is the ideas behind a work surface area. Um, if you're unable to find something within your household, please reach out to me via email and I will help you get creative. Um, another th few things that you're going to want to do, um, in each of your kits that you were provided, I'm just going to open, uh, they were not all the same, some have different materials in them depending on classes that you are in, um, but we'll go over a few of the basic things and you might want to retrieve. There's going to be a paper clip in every bag. Um, some of you received fishing line, most of you received a metal rib and a sponge. Um, you want to take those things out of your bag and then wrap your bag up airtight till we begin our projects, which will begin next week. Um, this paper clip will be used for scoring. This will be like your needle tool, so just open it up and extend, uh, typically just extend part of the paper clip like so. Sorry, I have to get used to this stuff. Um, and I found a bucket in my garage, and this is going to be something, you know, there's different sized things that I found around the house. I found an old um, a mayonnaise tub, so you can store your tools, whatever, um, in here. If you have fishing line for a cutoff tool, um, one thing I would suggest 
is find something that you can tie around the ends. Um, it could be a washer, it could be an old ring. Um, I have, um, it could even be a paper clip. I found like an old key ring loop. But if you can tie those off to each side, um, that'll help as you slice off your clay, help keep it organized. So a bead, whatever it is. Um, next, um, in your bag while you're in there, you may want to take uh, a, get a container, it could be a yogurt container, it could be a tupper, uh, Tupperware, um, and just take, I would say like, I'll put, I'm just pinching off little pieces of clay. Um, I would say like eight marbles worth, size of eight marbles, um, and then Add a little bit of vinegar. You can use any vinegar you find throughout the house. It could be uh, cider vinegar. I'm using white, uh, distilled white vinegar because it's the cheapest and that's what I had at my house. Um, so I put a little bit in there and I'll let that sit overnight. And uh, tomorrow I will, uh, in the next video, as we begin our first project, I'll talk to you about how to kind of, we're just gonna mush it up into a slip that we'll be using for our slipping process. Um, and so that is about it. Um, I have, I found this clip light in my garage, so it's not pretty, but um, I can, you know, use this, but it doesn't matter what kind of light you have. You just want to be able to work comfortably um, so that you can enjoy this process. Um, certainly this is a challenging time, um, but I do feel very confident that we will be very successful in uh, learning new processes and bettering ourselves in ceramics, um, of course, shifting to hand building, uh, primarily coil building and um, pinch sculpting, pinch pots, and some slab work can be done as well, as we will talk about as we progress. Um, I think that's it for now. So uh, work on getting your spaces set up and get comfortable. Don't forget, you know, turn some music on, try to find a space that's uh, not going to be, dis you know, you, you can actually work and, and enjoy your creativity uh, at your own house. Okay. Well, I miss you all tremendously and I um, really wish we could be here in person, but we will make do with what we've got. Take care and be safe.